for I have sinned. It's been three weeks since my last haul. Oh hi, so I have a haul today. Another haul. I don't know why I'm always surprised when I'm like, I've got another haul because it's getting real old real fast. I shop a lot. Let's just move on. Okay, so I got stuff from H&M, Dresslink, Topshop. I think that's about it. Boots. I'm going to stop boring you with my worst introductions of all time. and I'm just going to get cracking on my haul. So I'm going to start with Ooh, so bright, so bright. Okay, I'm gonna start off with H&M because I'm wearing an item from it. And shocker, it's a stripey top. Um, I just got this yesterday in H&M. Hold on, I'll try and show you the little shimmery around here. Um, it's basically just like a really loose um, top. It has long sleeves and it's really like a boxy fit. And then it's quite a relaxed um, neck. And this comes just below my belly button. So it's not like your, um, your average top length it's a bit shorter than usual it's actually very like one that they do in uh, american apparel except the one american apparel i think is has a pocket here and maybe shorter sleeves but this was 10 euro which i think is just such a good price for this it feels really nice and soft like 10 euro 9.95 to be exact the h&m are so good for their basic things i think and yeah i definitely did not need another navy and white striped top but you know what can you do at 9.95 i won't lose any sleep over that H&M are also so good for their jewellery, so I got, I just, I just buy rings constantly, like every month, because I buy them and then I lose them, because they're cheap, I'm sure if I had an expensive ring, like I wear my clatter ring here, my pinky finger, and I never lose that because I don't take it off, anyway, boring story, so I got these uh, rose gold set of rings, they're all different sizes, really, really, really skinny, some of them are above the knuckle, some of them are like thumb ones, and yeah, as I said, I have no rose gold um, rings and you literally get like, I'd say 20 here at least. And these were 2 dollars And then I've got the trusty kind of tube rings that are just have been around for ages now. And they're different, different widths, which I like. So some of them are thinner than others and some of them are nice and big. Okay, so moving on to Dresslink. Now Dresslink, I talked about them before in another haul. They're kind enough to send me a few bits and bobs. And they're like, they're, I think they're based in China and... To be honest, if I went onto the, the website with nobody, with no recommendation, um, I wouldn't be, I would be interested in the products they have because I'm like, oh, that looks great. But the prices are so cheap that I think I honestly would be just a bit like put off because of how cheap the prices are. I know that sounds bizarre, but that's my way of thinking. And I'd be like, okay, there's no way that like Zara Squirt knockoff is $5 or whatever. Um, it can't be good quality and I probably wouldn't buy anything. However, when they were sending me the stuff, I was like, well, sure, I'll try it. And I've been so amazed by the quality of the stuff. Um, I said, I got the black Zara Squirt um, a few months ago and that was $9 or something. And it's like identical to the to Zara one. So yeah, they sent me a few things again. And again, I was very pleased with what they sent me. If you watched my vlog, you'll have seen this item, another stripey item. Um, this is a dress. Um, so it has a stripey kind of jumper and then it goes into just... Um, like a black skirt just kind of really nice black cotton i think this is just so so cute and so easy and effortless um this was i think um 12 dollars which is amazing like oh shit the tags are on it and i've worn this at least three times Ugh. oh what is life how embarrassing for me anyway yeah so this i said it's all attached um but like it doesn't the dress part actually it's black like it's like that material you can see you can see it i should tell you but i think that's pretty good because some places cheap places would just like attach the skirt part from lower down um it's very comfortable my only problem is that it's slightly short so i do have to wear um i would wear like either a tight skirt underneath like a black bodycon skirt or i would wear um just leggings with it which is what i've done so yeah really happy with that as i said just such an easy thing to throw on and yet it looks like you've put together like a skirt on the top so yeah i'll leave a link for this below if it's still there if not i'll just leave a link to the website anyway so yeah 12 dollars for that and I said the quality is the quality is really really good okay so another thing that I got from Dresslink it's inside out no surprise there um it's this oh god god almighty I spend my life trying things inside out it's this black jumper now it's very it's quite short not I wouldn't say crop but it's not like long and it's very very sheer so as you can see there's my hand Woo. Um, so yeah, I just thought this would be really handy for the summer, um, like if you have a nice coloured bra underneath, you could wear this with high-waisted shorts, high-waisted jeans, and it would be nice and dressy as well. Um, I'm quite disappointed at how, um, that it is shorter than I thought. The problem with Dresslink is that I think it's, it's more for Asian women who are, I think, just skinnier and smaller, more petite in general, because basically a size 10 in Dresslink is a size large, so... You know, yeah, it's really comfy, long sleeves, black jumper, sheer, 
all the things you want in a jumper really okay so now this item i'm not going to do it justice on camera because it's so crinkles but to cut a long story short it is basically a white blouse um and except the difference is that it has kind of bat wing sleeves um so as you can see they're kind of bat winged and it's just basically a white shirt there's nothing much to to talk about here again this is very sheer again and again in the photo of this it was so much longer on the girls like it was really long and on me unfortunately it's only like hip length but so just bear that in mind if you're buying there that, that you will if you're size 10 go for a large and that some items may not be as long but other than that I'm totally really blown away by the quality of the stuff for that price like some of the t-shirts you can get are like three dollars five dollars and I've I've gotten a t-shirt before from there that was three dollars and the quality is great so it just kind of makes you think that when like the amount you pay for stuff in top shop and other high street shops so expensive that and it's the same quality it just really makes you think are they all these pieces made in the same factory and just given a label just it doesn't bear thinking about guys because you'll just get depressed and speaking of getting depressed and spending money on top shop I'll show you what i got from top shop so I got a blouse, I got this, I'm really just into plain white blouses and stuff recently and I saw this, my sister got this when she was home for Christmas and I went back, I loved it and I went back to get it and it was gone and then they got it back in, hallelujah. So it's kind of like, I would say a priest style neck, hold on. So this is what the neck looks like, there's no collar on it, it's just really high circle neck, as I said, reminds me of like a priest's collar, even though it doesn't come up high, it's just here but I don't know. And then what's really nice, it has lovely little sheer capped sleeves um basically a really nice boxy fit blouse um i don't know if the camera is going to do us justice but if you're in top shop and you see this i definitely recommend you try it on because it's actually just one of those things like before my sister i got it because i said my sister got it and on her it was amazing so it doesn't look absolutely amazing off but just on it's just so flattering and looks really expensive and i said this little sleeves are lovely this in a size 10 and it was um 46 euro which is actually on the cheaper side of their blouses there some of them can be 50 53 or whatever so i was happy with that another top shop purchase which is of course inside out because what else would it be ah so i've been eyeing these up for a while i've seen them on websites and stuff um but i had a weird kind of thing with top top jeans and that i am um, i was always waist 26 like 32 or 30 whichever way i wanted the leg length to be and then i got a pair of black jeans jamie jeans and i just picked them up and brought them home and then put them on and they were freaking tiny as in i was like ah, i can't go on um so then i was t i kept them like because i could wear them they're just really uncomfortable um and i asked a girl i think you worked there and i was like look what's the story because i used to be one size and that blah, blah. and she said that the black jeans are actually just tighter it's the, it's the dye or something they're just tighter so that was weird i thought um my god my fucking battery is flashing at me jamie jeans with the rips on the knees which i'm very pleased about and really really like i love the color they just look really really like easy and so these are really really comfortable and the knees actually make them more comfortable because i feel like i've just got more mobility when i'm wearing them with the rips in the knees these were featured in an outfit of the day i just posted and you can see them on me there these were i got them online because they done my leg length in the shop and they're actually cheaper so this shows how ridiculous top shop in ireland is these were 63 euro 61 euro in the shop in ireland and i got them including postage and packaging and i used like a 10 percent discount online i think it came to like 50 something euro so there you go don't go to the shop my batteries are gonna go I have to go really quick okay so if you watched my last vlog you'll know that i was at beyonce concert which is absolutely amazing and i got my surfboard surfboard now i wasn't about to pay 30 40 euro for the t-shirt in the merch section oh no 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 lovely gentleman sending these outside saying surfboard t-shirts five euro ten euro surfboard t-shirts i'm not taking anyone off if you live in north side dublin i swear i love your accent really but that's what they were saying when they were selling these i'm yeah i need to shut up okay but anyway um these this was a tenor outside the concert so obviously i was going to get this and it's actually pretty good quality and pretty nice material so i'm glad i got that i also got my friend a flawless jumper on etsy so i'm sorry beyonce that i'm not spending money on your official merchandise but i spent money on your concert ticket so there you go babes I don't know if I'm going to get to show you everything because my camera battery is going to go but I got an, a new dress in American Apparel again this was featured in an outfit of the night I did recently and it is called the Ponte Skater Dress so it's a very high neck here and the magic is that it's low on the sides and completely exposed on the back and then it's just like the skater style skirt I will leave a clip of me wearing it if I have it um beside this um this is this was like 70 something euro which I think was absolutely ridiculous 
but however I love it I think it's so flattering on and I love the little bit of side boob you get on the side and this um, I have to get an extra small mainly but I would never be an extra small but mainly because of the boob region I'm like an A cup and I tried on the small and it was huge on the boobs very depressing very depressing time for me so I got the extra small and it kind of held my boobs in much better but that does mean that it's I think a bit shorter which is kind of annoying so if you're usually a size small go for extra small medium go for small but that being said it all depends on your bust size because it's stretchy so I think just if you want that um to know that your boobs are going to stay in place all night long then get the size smaller 100% and so as I said it's just really nice high neck and low on the sides and I am absolutely in love with this and I think it will never go out of fashion I just wish it was a little bit cheaper I think 70 euro is ridiculous for this and I'll be kind of scared in case it shrinks in the wash or anything um but I think if it anywhere does a copy of these it'd be amazing but because it's very expensive but then again I just got the plain black because I thought it was something I could wear forever okay so I usually wear the bare minerals um foundation powder foundation but I decided to switch it up a bit and I went for the Laura Mercier mineral uh what's it called real sand mineral powder this is in the color real sand and this was a lot more expensive I think it was 40 something or 50 euro for this which I was like oh that's very expensive but the woman had already put it on my face and I felt too awkward to tell her I wasn't gonna buy it that's such an Irish way of thinking it's like okay I'll take it you put time and effort in but yeah I'm not like blown away by this right now um like I don't it's good but I don't justify paying more than my bare minimals one for this but so I have to see how I go but it's I think a bit more coverage but yeah I'm not 100% blown away but I will do probably do a review on this in full soon um I actually have to buy a concealer because I have never bought a concealer before in my life I know it's very very strange but um I've started to get like bags under my eyes because I'm obviously getting ancient so I wanted to get a cheap one I didn't want to spend money on something like that so I went to Primark and I got the Catrice one and this is the light retouch light reflecting concealer and I just got it for under my eyes and yeah I'm happy with this so far and I got this in an ivory I think color yeah ivory and um yeah I think this is really good now I have nothing to compare it to because I've never used a concealer but I like it so far now I'm going to talk about this in a video that will be coming after this and I got sent this by Boots um, because I do videos for them. If you want to see my videos for, that I do for Boots go check out their Facebook page and like my video and comment and everything. So this is the 17 Stay Time 24 Hour Foundation in Colour Natural and I'm like blown away by this. It's just so so good and the coverage is amazing, the finish is absolutely flawless. I am just, yeah, this is amazing. I think this is like under five euro. Um, I don't know the exact price because I've sent it, but I know it's very, very cheap. And whoa, I am like so pleased with this. I can't even, I just can't even describe to you. I just think it's such a good foundation. So I am gonna be doing a review on this and I will link that in my Twitter. I don't know if it's gonna be up on my, on my YouTube channel, but it's gonna be up on the Boots Facebook page anyway. So I will leave a link to that on my Twitter um, and you can watch that if you wanna know more about this foundation. But I've used a lot of foundations and this, is amazing so yeah it's just by the brand 17 which I've never tried before so that's my haul guys I had a few more beauty bits to show you but my battery's about to go so I'm going to do that in a separate video um but oh well please follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you don't already and please subscribe and comment below and let me know what you liked what you didn't like and all that stuff okay that's the end of my haul my battery's gonna go love you leave you follow me everywhere bye